I'm talking about people that want to teach creationism, and that's just bad. I mean, and the excuse or the justification is you don't want the government telling you what to do. What do you believe? Billions and billions of dollars have been spent by the federal government trying to implement Common Core across the country. Most of that goes to big textbook publishing companies. And those textbook publishing companies spend millions and millions of dollars on lobbyists to continue the gravy train. They say Common Core is about raising educational standards for children. But is it really about the kids? Project Veritas investigates. This is Diane Barrow. She is a high-ranking sales executive for Houghton Mifflin, one of America's largest school book publishers, now reaping huge profits from the adoption of Common Core. Are journalists posed as political consultants interested in Common Core? Again. <laughs> Funny. You seem like you're in it for the kids, though. You seem like, you know, I, I mean, I don't... I hate kids. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm in it to sell books. Don't even kid yourself for a hard <laughs> yeah. uh, Diane has been selling books for years and used to work for what is now her chief competitor and the other giant in the school book publishing business, Pearson Education. The company has literally made billions of dollars off Common Core. And I've worked for Pearson. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. And Everybody's worked for Pearson. It owns the world, you know. Um, they just do underhanded things. It's all about the money. What are you, crazy? It's all about the money. Well, we know. <laughs> like, generally, and, you yeah. know, it's not, not just Pearson, but... You don't but... think that the educational publishing companies are in it for education, do you? No, they're in it for the money. So... <laughs> The fact that they have to align the educational standards is what they have to do to sell the books. Right. So it's really about the money, not really about the kids. You think? <laughs> Diane explained to our undercover journalists how the publishing companies look at Common Core. But did, do the publishers lobby for those mandates to be put in place because, they're, because their materials are... That, that's what they're. No, they didn't lobby for them to be put in place, uh -huh. but they lobby now. They now they go after the money. They the, want to, you know. It's just like any business. If you're selling T-shirts, uh -huh. you want your T-shirts to fit everybody. Yeah. Right. So, well, so that, that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm. So your T-shirt will fit him. You know? And you know. This publishing executive is comparing our school textbooks to T-shirts. One size fits all. She's not entirely happy about it. It's just the way it is. In my opinion, education should have a bottom line. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, it should not be. This is one place where it really shouldn't be about the money. Yeah. It really should be about the kids. And you hear it all the time. It's all about the kids. No, it's not. It's not about the kids. As far as the publishers are concerned. As far as anybody's Anybody? It's clear Common Core isn't really about education, it's about selling books. <laughs> but yeah, do you in, see in, that more with, with the Common Core? I know on our end, it seems like there's a little more pushing because there's so much federal money involved for the publishers to really be on top of their game. Well, they, they can't sell anything unless it's aligned to the Common Core. Diane also had some strong opinions about things like homeschooling. She thinks the parents who homeschool are at best naive and at worst stupid. I guess homeschool parents don't buy enough of her company's textbooks. She is also no fan of Donald Trump. No surprise there either, as he has called Common Core, quote, a disaster, unquote. Common Core has to be ended. It's a disaster. It's a way of... Who is listening to Donald Trump? I mean, come on. Well, Diane Barrow is one of the hidden faces of Common Core, a publishing sales executive who says the whole thing is just about money and then to top it off, admits she hates kids. You seem like you're in it for the kids, though. You seem like, you know, I mean, I don't... I hate kids. <laughs> it's all about the money. What are you, crazy? It's all about the money. Again. You seem like you're in it for the kids, though. You seem like, you know, I mean, I don't... I hate kids. <laughs>
Because all this is so new to me. And I, what I've seen is money between, that's what, that's so thing between the between the publishing companies, the Common Core publishing companies, and the schools. Show. Is that true? Bullshit. And the thing is, what they do is they create some new f***ing system that f***ing sucks, sell more books, and then we have to learn something new and the student and it's so it's bullshit. It's all about the money. What are you, crazy? It's all about the money. You don't think that the educational publishing companies are in it for education, do you? No, they're in it for the money. The publishing companies are the winners in this game. Is that true? Is there money that goes in between? Yeah. Between the publishing companies and the schools? Oh my god. It's all a money game. It's all a money game. You seem like you're in it for the kids, though. You seem like, you know, I mean, I don't... <laughs> For all those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started.